Hi guys, so I'm back today and I'm really going to try hard to post more, but anyway, today is going to be a All My Pets organization video, I guess. Okay, starting off, I have the Detail, which is just a DIY hamster cage from Ikea, and below it I have some two extra reels, two extra play balls, which my current hamster does not like, so I never use them, um, and three extra water balls and a water bottle holder. Then I have my puzzle playground and a wood block. I have some extra food and some food that was given to me as a gift that I don't like because it's unhealthy so I don't use it and I have some treats and such. I have um, these Timothy hay cubes which I like because they don't have any alfalfa in them so I can give as much as I want to my rabbits um, which I don't usually do but we still get a couple every once in a while. Then I have um, these paper towel and toilet paper rolls for the rabbits and hamsters and then I have um, these little pet safe air fresheners which were hung up right over here but they fell off so now I have a mustache in one corner and a bow tie in one corner and then I have this polka dot washi tape which that changes every now and then especially if I'm doing a themed cage it might change. Right here I have some Assyrian sized um, hamster hideouts and toys because I'm preparing for a Syrian. Here I have some um, dwarf sized hideouts and some more dwarf sized hideouts. So these are all of my hamster hideouts in total. Plus I have some in the cages and I have some over here which I'll show you in a minute. I forgot to add if you want to see all of my hi hamster hideouts in detail, um, I can put that in a different video and you can request it or I'll just do it in the future. Um, but right here I have some of my pet cleaning supplies and stuff. I have, um, for example, some dust painted brooms, I have some toilet paper, I have some garbage bags, a water and vinegar mix, um, some super pet quick and clean, which I don't really use that much. It was just my friend bought it and so, and she recommended it, so I got it. And then here I should probably show you this after I show the rest of my toys but whatever I just have some um, pet shoes and so I have three separate buckets for my um, small pets and those are one for my new hamster one for my current hamster and one for my um, rabbits and these are just the toys that aren't assigned to any of those um, and that's because either I haven't assigned them yet or because these are for photo shoots so yeah and then here I have my hamster food, and yeah, it's just my hamster mix. And here I have some treats. I have just some different treats I have, and I'm not really stocked up on treats that much, which um, may change in the future. I just don't feed my pets that many treats, but I think it's just nice to have a lot of treats. So, I may be getting more. And I forgot to add, I have two bunnies here, which were both presents from my parents. And I have a little sign that I made from the magazine that says Mocha and Pepper. Well, it doesn't say hand, but it says Mocha Pepper. So, yeah, which are my bunnies, if you didn't know. And so, here's the storage room. So, let's go in. And the light just happens to be on. I'll turn the fan off so that you guys don't have to hear that. But that's just because for some reason it stinks in here. We don't know why. So yeah, let's get started with the storage in here. Okay, so a lot of the storage in here isn't mine for the pets. Like this stuff. So just so you know, that's not all my clutter. But right here I have rabbit hay racks. And I have more hay racks than that. They just, I don't know where they are. And then I have this thing. Um, which I actually really like. And I made it myself, and if you want to know how to make that, request it, and you can make smaller ones for hamsters, but this one is also for hamsters, but you can make ones like this for rabbits as well. This one I'm going to give to my hamster for a playtime, just so that he can climb on it and go under it and stuff. And then I have this drawer cart thingy. Okay. So in here, in here I have some rabbit dishes. Whoa. And I don't like how I can't fit that much in here, um, but that's okay because once I change a room, I'll have more places to store stuff. And then in here, 
I have some hamster dishes, which I have more than you can see. It's just I don't want to pull it all out. There. It's hard to do this one with one hand. And then lastly, I have more rabbit dishes, which this is so hard to do with one hand, so I don't want to show you guys. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then right here, I have those three boxes I was talking about. Sorry, it's so like disorganized. But um, this is for my hamster, Sebastian. And these are just toys that um, I wouldn't give to a different hamster or the rabbits because, you know, they're his. And if he were to get any diseases or anything, I wouldn't want to pass that on to another pet. So, yeah. And obviously, those aren't all of his toys. He has more that are, like, plastic and washable. Those are just his that are, you know, his. And then these are some of the rabbit toys. There, there aren't much in here because I either lost a lot of their toys or they're in their cage right now. And then this is for the new hamster. So yeah. And then right here, I have some large heady houses, which are for the um, rabbits. I have that walk-up bridge one, this igloo, and ooh, then a tunnel down there, and something fell. Again, I'm sorry for the mess, but here's the cage which my other hamster in, is in, and it looks smaller um, on camera, but it is a 20 gallon long, which is the minimum size for one hamster if you want a tank. And I'm going to be attaching a large bin cage to it in the future. So yeah, well, in the near future, as soon as I have the, enough money, so that will make it even bigger than it needs to be, which is good. And then right here, I just have a playpen, which I use all the time, so there's no need in like putting it where it needs to be, like, you know, putting it away. Um, so, yeah, and then I just have a mat, which you can go on top of it or under it, and then there's the box for it. Then right here, I just have some um, race tracks, I guess you could say, for the hamsters, and it's for um, the play balls, and it makes it so that I don't have to watch them if I'm going to leave for a second. Which I never usually do, but that's just if I was going to leave for, like, one second. And, um, like I think I said, I don't really use the play balls anymore because I don't have any hamsters that like them. Okay, and then I forgot to add that, um... Okay, sorry, my friend just walked by and I'm making sure she can't hear me. But I forgot to add that, um... I don't have a certain pet schedule yet, or I mean posting schedule for my videos. But I'm going to try to post twice a week, I think. Um, one video will be a pet vlog, and it's just a vlog of my day, pet related. And one video will be, um, well, sorry, um, will be about, like, you know, pet info and stuff, just like a regular video.